Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 just want to be a sheep, ba 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 My sheep hear my voice. Samuel hears the voice of the Lord. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no frequent vision. At that time Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim, so that he could not see, was lying down in his own place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down within the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel ran to Eli and said, Eli, Eli! Huh. What is it, my son? Is that you, Samuel? I I am here before you called me. Uh, I did not call you. It is very late. Please go back to sleep. So Samuel went and lay down. And the Lord called again, Samuel! And Samuel arose and went to Eli. Eli, 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 Eli. Oh. Samuel, is that you, you again? Yes. Uh, I did not call you. Please go back to sleep. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time, and he arose and went to Eli. Eli, Eli, oh. here I am for you to call me. Oh, Samuel. Samuel, I think God wants to speak to you. If you go back to bed and he wakes you up, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Okay? So Samuel went and lay down in his place. And the Lord came and stood forth, calling, as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for thy servant hears. Speak, for thy servant hears. Then the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I am about to do a thing in Israel, at which the two ears of everyone that hears it will tingle. On that day I will fulfill against Eli all that I have spoken concerning his house, from beginning to end. And I tell him that I am about to punish his house forever, for the iniquity which he knew, because his sons were blaspheming God, and he did not restrain them. Therefore I swear to the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be expediated by sacrifice or offering forever. Samuel lay until morning. Then he opened the doors to the house of the Lord. And Samuel was afraid to tell the vision to Eli. But Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel! Samuel! Did the Lord speak to you last night? Tell me what he said. Leave no words out. He, he said that because you didn't tell your sons to stop um, misjudging God, you ha your house will be punished. It is the Lord. Let him do what is best for him. Oh. Mm -hmm. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and let none of his words fall to the ground.